Wheel of Fortune. Your host, Nikki Campbell. Nikki smiles and waves to the audience, then descends steps to the contestants. How are you? Welcome to the Wheel of Fortune. Wait till you see Carol Smiley. Wearing a short, wide-shouldered frock, Carol descends steps, twirls and smiles. Spinning that old wheel tonight, we've got Tamsin. Malcolm. And Charlotte. And it could all lead to an absolutely fantastic prize at the end of it all for one of our three contestants. Steve, tell us about the prizes. Yes, spin to win, and you could be down under in Australia. Or you could grab the cash, the big wheel jackpot of £5,000, or capture admiring glances in the Super Suzuki Jeep. Brilliant contestants tonight, as ever. Let's meet them. Hello, Tamsin. What's your full name? Tamsin Hazel. Ta what a wonderful name that is. Where uh, are you from? I'm from York. And what do you do in your spare time? I'm in amateur dramatics. Oh, I could tell by your confident delivery. What <laughs> sort of parts do you play? Well, unfortunately, this time I've got a principal part. Oh. So there's a lot of uh, this in it. A lot of what? A lot of what? <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> right. <laughs> no, it is a good one, that. It is a very good one. I remember it myself. Hello, Malcolm. Tell me about yourself. Oh, Nicky. Malcolm Vegas from Leeds. I, uh, I'm 32 years old. I work for Leeds City Council. Uh, you're a bit of a sportsman. What sports do you play? Football, cricket, table tennis, anything. What's your favourite all-time player from Leeds United? Johnny Giles. Oh, he was a hard man. Chance. A little man, but a hard man. Much like yourself? Oh, I wish. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck to you tonight. Thank and you. hello to Charlotte. Hi, Charlotte. Hello. Tell me about yourself. I'm Charlotte Thompson. I'm from Torquay in Devon. Mm -hmm. I'm 23. Um, my and hobbies. You are a very good driver. I am, yes. You've got certificates to prove it. Tell I me am. about those. I'm an advanced driver, a member of the Institute of Advanced Motorists. What makes, mm. Why did you want to prove the fact, though? Well, it was originally a bet between my boyfriend then, um, because he couldn't drive. And he and lost the bet? Yes. Is he it did. still your boyfriend? No. Say no more. <laughs> right. Uh, <laughs> good luck to all of you tonight. And let's have a look at the first puzzle. Two words. Those two words make up the name of an occupation. So who's going to go first? Answer this question and we will find out. Which pop star shared the credits with Queen on the chart hit Under Pressure? David Bowie. Is correct, Tamsin. Well done. <laughs> On you go. I think you deserve a little bit of a, a five slap for that one. David Bowie it is. Great song. With the late oh, Freddie. No. But you've lost a turn. <laughs> Oh, high drama. Oh, amateur drama, anyway. <laughs> All right, sir. Malcolm. Malcolm Vegas. <laughs> Leeds United supporter. Great to see them back in the big time after. Great, great team over the years. Terry Yorick is a great player as well. Yeah. 900. <laughs> what a start. S for silly, please. Yeah, have you been personal? Um, <laughs> Charlotte. Three spin for Charlotte. Charlotte, I couldn't help notice when you were spinning all those gold rings in your hand. <laughs> Carry on. I'll spin on then. Yeah, I'm just I'm dazzled by all those gold rings you're wearing. <laughs> you weren't friendly with Aristotle Onassis, were you? One thousand! Robert. Half for Robert. There's four of them there, Charlotte. Oh! Four thousand for you. You are brilliant behind the wheel, it has to be said. I am. Well... <laughs> <laughs> Even if it's a big one, there are lots of bright colours. 500! S for silly, please. No, it's oh, not it's there. Gone. Oh, you silly sausage. I'll have my free spin, then. All right, then. Take <laughs> it over and I'll try and catch it. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> you don't need to. <laughs> 400. Peter, please. Yes, two of them there. There's 800. You're playing it very well so far. Good points, too. Keep your eyes on the road. Keep your eyes on the board. Oh, Keep... no! oh! <laughs> Bankrupt. Crash, bang, wallop. There you go. Tamsin. Me. 
second word has ten letters beginning with PR and ending in R. Oh, not again. Oh, no, yeah. not again. Don't worry, something, something completely different. <laughs> 400. T for Tommy, please. Yes, it's there. And you're, you're at 10, 400 points. <laughs> Nothing else to do, have you? <laughs> Through the bankrupt. Oh. 900. Uh, G for Garden. Yes, it's there, and you've got the points too. I'll get back to you now. Oh! Go away, go away. Go <laughs> 200. C for Charlie. Yes, there's one there. You've got the points, too. I'll go for it. You're going to go for it. Computer programmer. Oh, yes. <laughs> You're pleased about that, aren't you? I have it. Now, you are an actress. There it is. Computer programmer. Now, you are an actress, and I know you like those romantic parts, mm -hmm. staring into people's eyes and saying that you love them. Tell Steve Hamilton that you love him. I love you dearly. <laughs> and I'm sure I could become very fond of you as well, Tamsin. Anyone can turn out the perfect meal with this microwave, which is combined with an oven. And here's something we made earlier. Or take a break in the city of waltzes and choirs. Well, if it was good enough for Strauss, I'm sure it's good enough for me and you, Tamsin. It's a short break in beautiful Vienna. <laughs> And finally, how would you like to be the proud owner of this electric hob and a complete range of pots and pans? Your choice, Tamsin. What would you have with Frank? I'd like to go to Vienna, please. With? With Chris. With Chris. Sorry, Steve. Well done, Tamsin. Now for something completely different, a brand new game. There's another bankrupt on the wheel. Be careful of that. There's another thousand as well. And Carol has this prize. For the kind of lady who really means business, a matching soft leather handbag and briefcase. You can uh, win that if you land on the prize star, which I'm going to put down there on the 400, and then you've got to also go on and solve the puzzle. Seven words, a proverb. Ah, oh, yes, who's going to start? The pharaohs were ancient kings of which country? Malcolm. Egypt. Is correct. Tutankhamun and all that. Tutankhamun, spelt in hieroglyphics. Two cats, a dog and a donkey. On you go. Fine. 800. T for Tony, please. T for Tony, two of them there, that's 1,600 points. Well, it's the Leeds City Council, don't you? Yes. Three kids? Two and a half. Two and a half. Oh, I'd love to be able to stop that wheel. Points in the first round of safe, don't worry about that. Charlotte. Come on, Charlotte. Lose a turn. Oh. Mm. Tamsin, what are you smiling for? <laughs> what a misfortune, eh? I'm not. I mean, that's you can't stop smiling. Good for you. <laughs> 250. Um, an N Finelli, please. N Finelli, three of them there, 750. First word, double blank, N blank. Have a letter. An hour for Robert, please. Two of them, 2,000 points. Third word is T-R double blank. Six word, blank N. 1,000. Uh, a C for Charlie. Mm. Not there, don't get the points. Malcolm, cool as a cucumber. So in control, like Johnny Giles, for the fearsome book. Yeah. 300. M for mummy, please. Yep. Can I guess it? You can. Many a true word spoken in jest. Yes! <laughs> there it is, many a true word spoken in jest. Well done, Mark. Thank you, too. Brilliant. Now, you were a bit nervous before the show, weren't you? I was, yes. How are you feeling now? A little bit better. Oh, <laughs> feeling great. All right, listen, Steve's got some prizes for you. Steve, don't be nervous. 
I'll try, Nikki. Well, Mark, if you want someone to store a few bottles of your favorite plonk, this reproduction U corner cabinet is absolutely ideal. Or would you prefer three cases of vintage wine to tantalize the taste buds of the most discerning wine bottle? Or will you go for an astounding 88-piece bronze cutlery set, six gold-plated goblets, and two candelabra? Ideal for the next camping holiday. The question is, who is ahead just now? Let's call up the bank and find out. Charlotte, yet to score, but your time will come, Charlotte, I'm sure. Markham, 300. But the Monty Python fan, Tamsin, with 4,250! <laughs> she can't stop smiling! And who can blame her? We'll be back in just a couple of minutes. Don't miss the Wheel of Fortune! End of part one. Wheel of Fortune, Part 2. Welcome back. Tamsin will be smiling all the way through the break as well. She just doesn't stop. So she should. She's ahead just now, but it could all change. Look at the world. Another thousand. Double points from now on. So there's going to be more points available than there are stars in heaven. Talking of stars, here's a star with a star prize. Carol. <laughs> Earrings fit for a queen in golden pearls based on a genuine royal design. Pearl earrings, or as they say in Central Scotland, pearl earrings, very nice too. Down there in a 500 if you want to win it, and then uh, go on and solve the puzzle. The puzzle's got four words, those four words make a phrase. Who's going to start this time? Answer this question, and we'll find out. In which Daniel Defoe novel is there a character called Man Fried... Robinson Crusoe. Man Fried is in Robinson Crusoe Day. Well done! Based on the character Alexander Selkirk, Man Friday, of course. Well done, Malcolm. It's safe. Yeah. 150. See if it's on me, please. Two of them there, yep. Yeah. We've got points, that's 300, that's double the number, that's 600. Double points, remember. Charlotte, Malcolm, and Tamsin. If I forget to double it, you can double it. All the way around, 150. H for Harry, please. H for Harry, one's there, that's 300. First word is double blank, T double blank. Third word, TH blank. A little bit more, come on, come on. 400. S for sugar, please. S for mm. sugar, not there. Charlotte. Double to 2,000, of course, double points now. No problem. 300. Arthur Robert. Three of them there, that's 900. 1,800. I see a star. Let's go all the way, come on. Um, D for Derek. Two of them there, that's 4,000 points, Charlotte. You are superb behind the wheel. 1,000. D for Peter. Mm. No! Time's in. Sorry? Off we go. Off we go again, Tamsin. I think you'll be all right. Oh. 4.50. See for Charlie. Mm. Not there. Malcolm spins. Second word is now blank, N, D, blank, R. 800. W for Walter. W for Walter is there. That's double to 1,600. First word, W, blank, T blank R. Two fifty. B for Brian. B for Brian Clough, who was manager for forty-four days. There's one there that's double to five hundred, of course. You could do with a few more points, but you don't want to go bankrupt. Two hundred. 
G for Gordon. Strachan. One there. 400. Only vowels left. Solve it. Water under the bridge. Yes. <laughs> There is water under the bridge. There's been a lot of water under the bridge since Brian Clark was manager, though. Yes. Can we name that team, though, uh, before Rabbit? Maidley, Sprake, who else was in it? Terry Orrith. Really? Um, midfield was Bremner. Now, we'll Cooper. do that while Steve Hamilton tells us the prize. Yeah. Right? Yes, you carry on, Nicky, and Malcolm, there's nothing better than to come home after a hard day trying to win a quiz show and relax in this beautiful chair with matching three-seater settee. And hopefully your biggest decision of the day is what to watch on this ultra-sleek high-tech TV and video, which would look great in any room. Well, isn't technology wonderful? This certainly beats my old dance set, Nicky. This compact display and hi-fi system could be yours. Made to choose from, Malcolm, pick one right now. Excellent. Good choice. Right, have a look at this. There's another thousand on the wheel. Remember, it's still double points. Here's the next puzzle. Four words. Category, star and movie. Who's going to start? In which US state is Cape Canaveral? Charlotte, don't be so surprised. <laughs> Florida. Yes, FLA. Yes. Cape Canaveral, Florida. Well, all them folks retire. 900. <laughs> Harry. Yes, there's one there. That's 1,800 points. And you're ahead just now, Charlotte. But it is still close. Anyone's game still. H is the middle letter of the first seven-letter word. 450. S for sugar. Three of them there, yep. S is the middle letter of the third five-letter word. Two of them. 800. 1600. That means it's a speed round now. One spin of the wheel, it's still with you. You'll pick a letter, Charlotte. If it's in the puzzle, you've got five seconds to solve it. If you solve it, you win the prize package. A choice from that. If not, it moves on. And every single letter will be worth 750. And remember, it's double points. That's not too bad. Pick a letter. M for mother. M for mother. There's one there. That's 1500 points immediately. Solve it. Tamsin. R for Robert. Not there. Malcolm. N for Noddy. Two of them. 1,500. That doubles to 3,000 points. Very useful. No. No. Nope. Charlotte. Uh, P for Peter. No. Tamsin. D for Donald. One's there. That's 1,500 points. No. Malcolm. L for Leonard. Two of them. That's another 3,000 points. Um. Charlotte. I'll have a B. For? Bertie. <laughs> Michael Douglas and Basic Instinct. Yes! <laughs> what about that? Michael Douglas, Basic Instinct. Steve, you've got any diamonds and gold for Charlotte? Well, I'm afraid there are no diamonds, but we have this. When professionals play it, it's called table tennis. And it's very fast, but it can be ping-pong and just as much fun. Or what about a short break in a field? Not just any old field, but the ball fields of Holland as we take you on a break to Amsterdam and surrounding areas and watch out for that mouse. Where? Why, they're on the stair. Or grab your shades and relax with a set of patio furniture, chairs, bench, and, of course, the obligatory parasol. Charlotte, take your pick. He's a diamond geezer, Steve Hamilton. What are you having? I have to break to Holland, please. Very nice, too. <laughs> Holland, here you come. Right, the time has come to find out who is going to go forward and try for one of tonight's big prizes, and big prizes they are. Let's call up the bank. Tamsin, you started well, but it's 5,750. Malcolm, 9,700. But with 16,900, Charlotte! Yeah! <laughs>
Right, so Markham, you were nervous beforehand. There was no need. You did it with such confidence. Thank it was you. so suave all the way through. You had a good time, didn't you? I did. Wonderful. Thank you. You got the cutlery, the goblets, the candelabra, the hi-fi and everything. It's been really good meeting you as well. Good luck to Leeds and all their endeavours. A great football team. Thank you. And uh, Tamsin, you've done well as well. You've got the trip to Vienna, which I think is worth a little... Why not? Why not? Why not? Both of you have got the Wheel of Fortune watch, but Charlotte, for you, time to leave the wheel behind. Come with me and go for that possible fortune. Come here. <laughs> Charlotte joins Nikki in front of the prize car. How have you felt about this all day? Nervous. Did you think for one second you'd be standing here at the end of the day? No idea, no. All right, well, here you go then. You've got to choose one of these prizes. So have a look at this. Stephen, what are they? Well, Charlotte, one puzzle to solve, and you could choose to be flying off to Australia on the holiday of a lifetime. Or you could grab that cash. Yes, the big wheel jackpot of £5,000. Or spin a wheel of a different kind. If you choose the Suzuki Jeep, you've done well so far, Charlotte. All you have to do is solve the puzzle and get it right. Good luck from us all. All you have to do, he says. Right. I'm going to go for the Jeep. Have one look at it. There it is. Good luck, Charlotte. And, of course, you're an advanced driver yourself. I, yes. So you'll be driving that thing superbly if you uh, do go on I to win it, and we hope that you do. Only three words stand between you and winning that lovely mm. Jeep. Those three words together make up the name of a place. So I want you to give me, Charlotte, six letters in all. Five consonants, one vowel. The letters that you choose that appear in the name of that place will light up on the board. I hope you choose good ones so that lots light up. First of all, the consonants. H. For Harry. For Harry. R for Robert. S for Sugar. Two more. L for Lottie. <laughs> You what? <laughs> Lottie? It's a friend of yours. No, it's an abbreviation of my name. Oh, is it? Yeah. Of course. Charlotte. One more. And... Oh... M for mother. And one vowel. E for English. Good luck, Lottie. <laughs> I'm going to put those letters into this place. Carl reveals Charlotte's chosen letters on the puzzle board. The first word is H blank R S E. You've got 15 seconds to solve it and win that Jeep. Go for it. Horse, horse. Horse what? Horse. Horse cross. Oh. Place. Horse something. Horse. Be horse. Oh. horse what? Let's have a look. Never mind. Oh. Let's have one look at this. Old Scars Parade, isn't it? Oh, dear. You heard of it? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, that'll make you feel better then. Mm. Let me just remind you of what you got on the way through. You got a trip to Holland. Never mind a Horse Guards Parade. <laughs> Off to Holland you go. Hard luck, Charlotte. That's, cool. That's all right. Thank you. <laughs> You're a really good contestant in that speaking as well. Nice one. Hey, did Richard Brown give you that one? <laughs> found them, found them. What do you think that? What, your Coronation Street? What else? Well, I'll go put the kettle on. We'll see you very, very <laughs> soon. Don't. Next time around. Bye-bye. The end. We've catchphrase on the way next here on Challenge, but will the super catchphrase catch them out? We'll find out in a mo. And then the late, great Des O'Connor is with us. Just try not to say yes or no. Take your pick. It's today at 2.